Hey guys, Clumsy here. And welcome back to Clumsy Farming. We are going on a new farm today. Thank you for joining me. And thank you for all the ideas and tests that you've been doing for the sake of this uh, motley bunch here. <laughs> thank you for joining. Welcome to the stream. Hey Patrick, AJ, and Alex. How are you guys? Glad you made it. Bye up guys, Clumsy needs a new farm. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, we've had to save up a lot. So Sussex Farms has been amazing. Lots of trucking jobs, but I think we needed to change a lot of other things because it was not very multiplayer multiplayer friendly, our settings. So we've been coming up with some ideas the past few weeks. And I think we are finally ready to get it started. So without further ado... Let me load up farming and let me remember to share it with you <laughs> so you just don't see the beautiful landscape of uh, Switzerland right there. Hey Rooney. No, you're not Rooney. <laughs> Welcome to the stream though. Family friendly channel, please keep in mind. FS19, there we go. So Discord is up, if you guys want to join. Ken, one sec, okay, it's there. I am not joined in the server yet. Let's do a bit of intro first before I join in, but you guys can join ahead already. So the server is up now. I'm using a different save game. So the existing save game has not been removed. So don't worry about that. If we ever want to go back to Sussex Farms, it's still there. But for now, we are starting in a new save. And we are going to be in the Lone Oak Farm. Yep. There you go. I think it's time for a uh, timeout for Mr. Rooney. Thank you, Automod. So Lone Oak Farm 19 is the name. Thank you, Jay. Please take this time, Rooney, to meditate <laughs> and compose yourself. Thanks a lot, man. <clears throat> so I've been watching videos of Lone Oak Farm, some time lapse, some intros, and it's Proving very uh, a very immersive map. It's set in the US. I think it's based on a real farm in Oregon. So very lush landscape, very wide, encompassing, and we even have our own dog. Where is he? Here boy. Here boy. There he is. <laughs> Look at him go. How do we pet this guy? There are certain options in here. Oh, I can't find it. In the Xbox 360 controller, there's an option here. We can like pet the dog, we can feed him and stuff like that. Not sure how to do that keyboard though. But look at this beautiful house. And there's even a griller outside, there's a basketball. Oh man, I absolutely suck at bas basketball, but can I pick it up? There you go. Oh yeah, just like in real life, <laughs> my basketball skills are showing. Hey, wise man. Yellow machine in the countdown screen is the machine of doom. Five plus hours harvesting damn potatoes oh yeah it's like a huge machine and the actual row that gets the potatoes is only like a, a single line <laughs> it's so, oh my goodness really gets your hopes up so let's take a bit of a tour of the house before we take a tour of the farm oh nice fireplace and everything 
textures aren't the highest <laughs> so it's a bit my summer carish in some places but i do appreciate the gesture is there something written in the mug frontier looks like it's a phone I guess that should have, should be a mirror of some sort. This goes into the garage where we can go here. Now a bit tricky, the, the doors in this place is a bit of a, a mystery. I guess doorknobs in Oregon aren't a very uh, developed technology. There you go. And now we're outside again. So you go inside. We can go to the garage, we can open the garage doors. Comes with their nice uh, sound effects. All the tools, lawnmower, all that stuff. It was one of the largest maps on the <laughs> Felsbrun. <laughs> oh my goodness, I feel for you. Wow, uh, an actual home theater system. Nice. Biggest TV ever. Encompasses almost the entire wall. Love that. Although the painting, well, I guess that style, yeah, could be, could work. I like that. What else can we see here? Awesome kitchen. Lots of countertops. It even has its own herb garden here, looks like. Basil, cilantro, all that stuff. The mystery of the doorknobs, oh my goodness. Yeah, potatoes are horrible. Absolutely. Is there, a, I'm not sure if there's a bigger header though, or combine, or implement. How the heck do you open <laughs> this thing? <laughs> okay, let's, let's go and try and find that missing spot. Uh, uh, is that the one? Oh, that's the other door. So that's one of the frustrations in this map maybe it's not those are not uh, interactive but if there's only a single door then it's easy to open frontier oh that's the one we saw frontier design maybe the map mod the mo uh, map authors huh another griller nice very good weather right now and by the way we don't have seasons anymore and i have to set up some of the settings to make sure that we don't uh, we don't get withering and whatnot, let's go and set it up now. I'm actually not in a farm yet. Maybe that's something that we can do first. Oh my goodness, what is the password? There you go. Okay. So we let's go and build the farm start the farm so the the concept that we thought of was that we have multiple farms and thanks a lot uh, alex and jack jack isn't here yet i think then uh, they tested out the multiple farms if they can interact with each other sell stuff to each other st sell crops uh, pay each other and stuff like that so it acts really like multiple companies working on the same map and it's perfect it's exactly what we wanted. So thanks, uh, Jack and Alex, for testing that out. Largest field. 42k. Some income from stolen potatoes. Only like twice the size. So that's still uh, ridiculously small, huh? Okay. Remind me never to plant potatoes then. So let's create a farm. I guess we can change this later. Uh, can we just name this crops? Unlimited? Something like that. <laughs> and maybe crops are good. Uh, what color is it? Nice. Green or yellow? Let's go with yellow. Something like wheat. <laughs> crops Unlimited. <laughs> there you go. Crops Unlimited. Uh, it, we, we'll have to think of a witty name, but the concept is to have around four farms. One for crops. So this company, this farm, would focus solely on, on planting and harvesting crops. 
the next farm would focus solely on livestock so they wouldn't plant they would focus on the animals all the types the other farm would be focusing on forestry so logging equipment will be there and then the last farm will be focusing on logistics so trucking transporting and we can like contract them pay them some amount of money to bring uh, large amounts of goods like that might be a thing and they can do the transporting contracts as well not a bale farm limited animals unlimited i just did what jack told me <laughs> thanks man but yeah let's start with this one first and then once you guys think of a a nice name let's go and make those other farms too so i'll join this one and from here I can promote myself as a farm manager. So the thing I think that you guys were saying, was it manage contracts, uh, Alex, that you guys were testing? How to interact and how to get um, access to different kinds of um, uh, objects from the other farms. So if I promote myself to farm manager, because there was something being said about if you switch farms, then you lose that. Animalia. <laughs> Animal Crossing. <laughs> I like that. Animal Crossing Inc. What what color do we look for for that? For, what for that brown maybe? Because of poop. They'll have unlimited poops. Ah, uh, there's no brown. This is as brown as it gets. Maybe crops unlimited. We go and set that to. Can we change that? Edit farm. We can change that to green. That can work. So if we switch here, if we join this one, you will lose all your current permissions. Ah, okay. So it's a bit tricky. You can switch to and from. Like today you want to be a, um, a farmer, tomorrow you want to be a trucker, you can switch at will, but you lose your the, the, the bigger uh, um, uh, permission. So you'll have to have an admin in to promote you again, something along those lines. So once we go back, we'll have to promote ourselves again. There you go. Yar, Jack! Just started creating two farms, Crops Unlimited and Animal Crossing Inc. <laughs> we'll have to think of some fancy names for forestry and uh, uh, transporting. Making other players a contractor in your farm. Yeah. I like really like that concept. Thanks again for testing it out, Jack and Alex. So we have we are on this farm now in uh, Crops Unlimited. And we want to set, change some of the settings. One of the settings that we are going to change is this one. Plant withering should be off. Yeah. Save that. What is the server settings? Am I going to show something sensitive here? Let me just remove the display for a while just to be safe, guys. Yeah, indeed. I almost showed the password. Good thing I hid it first. <laughs> Geekers logistics is such an obvious choice for the transport. Oh yeah, that sounds good. Tree eat. Oh yeah, that's great. That's great for the forestry, huh? Yes, I like that. How was your stream, Jack? Sorry, I couldn't drop by. I was uh, stuck airborne. <laughs> Practicing on the A319. Uh, I like that treat. How do you spell that? Treat. Uh, what's the second word? Treat. Um, loggers. Uh, treat logging. You worry about that later. 
It's the name of the farm in ETS2. Hey, Gamaste. Welcome back. I think it's better that Treat is the green one. Let's make it that way. So edit this. Let's go Crops Unlimited for yellow. Animal Crossing orange. Treat logging would be green. And the... I think there's no other name. We have to bring back the, the company name from trucking. Clumsy trucking. Company, Clumsy Trucking Co. <laughs> and it has to be blue for sure. That blue. There you go. So, guys, feel free to join in. Our subs, our patrons. And join whichever form you like. And I'll probably give Jack some admin powers. So, even if while I'm out, he can uh, drop in and uh, help assign permissions and stuff <clears throat> new farms yes but currently we are in crops unlimited uh the problem with that though i'm thinking about it so if you look at lands i'm guessing is it safe to assume that we can only have one owner for each land and i think that's a safe assumption right and if we're separating the crops from the animals, that means the this land here should be owned by the animals. By the by the uh, what what's the name of the farm? Animal Crossing Inc. Then, or would it work either way? Hmm. Maybe that's something that we can test further on. Anyway. So as a crop farmer, we can choose which crops we will be buying first. And now I can join the Discord server. I think we've had enough of a, an intro. Um, and I'm looking at the surroundings. I think we'd like to start somewhere nearby. 42 seems like a very promising start because it's wheat. I have to drag over the color just to recognize which one it is. Uh, yeah, that's wheat. And uh, that's perfect for... Maybe we can get that. We can already harvest that, I think. Let's see. Ready to harvest. Yeah, indeed. Ready to harvest. Because the others, 30, 33, 34, and 41 are all grass. And we can use that too. So I'm guessing we can buy 41 and 42 if we have money. And then we can harvest those. I think, are those harvest ready? Yes. And then we can harvest those and we can sell them to the uh, Animal Crossing Inc. Something along those lines. <clears throat> That's going to be pretty expensive though. These two are worth 400,000 pounds each. Oh, we have to change the currency. We are in the US now. Thousand dollars. Four hundred thousand dollars. Yikes. So these two alone will uh, completely, well, almost eradicate our, our uh, funds already. We don't have any equipment yet. We still need to buy a tractor, a trailer, a harvester. A header so if you look at the prices for those how does it work we'll need a medium tractor for sure maybe a small one as well but a medium one to start with a harvester would be worth a hundred K plus already oh my goodness yeah if you buy some of the wow 465 now that seems like a such a far away dream huh <laughs> So I think we'll have to start small. Uh, ouch. Maybe this one, the Activa 7347. You can always lease to get started. So we don't need to buy the harvester right away. That's a good point. 
we can lease the harvester, but I think the tractor it will be worth to buy, huh? Because we'll have that forever. We'll be using that till the end of time. And then uh, some of the 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 main things like I don't know trailers. Okay, let's start off with the tractor. Let's start off with the tractor. Thank you for pulling me out of the ledge <laughs> before I bought something that I might regret. <laughs> A medium tractor would be nice. Case. I, I would like to try something different. Something we haven't tried before. A JCB looks nice. 196,000 though. I think I'll take one of these guys first. This one can go up to 170 horsepower, but only 24 miles per hour. Let's have a look. You only made enough to buy after your potato shenanigans today. Yeah, now I'll, I will be exposed to proper farming economy. Because in Sussex Farms, it's so easy to earn money. Like, it's almost like unlimited money in there just doing diesel runs and uh, hmm. I think we'll need narrow tires we do have crop dest crop destruction still on I'm not sure if I like this guy though it seems a bit too simple and we cannot change the paint okay that's a deal breaker should we get something with a front loader as well? Just so we'll have a multi-purpose tractor. <clears throat> we'll have to do a few jobs first. That's true. How about this stair one? 180 horsepower. This looks perfect. 24 miles only. Cannot change the color either. Can go with narrow tires. The color is perfect for the farm. But I'm not sure. And it's properly cheap. But it cannot have a front loader. This guy's can. The Massive Ferguson, I think we have this one in the previous farm. Oh, the Valtra. Of course, I painted blue, huh? You can lease other stuff when required. But the tractor I'm planning to buy already. Is it not twice to buy a tractor? Oh man, this looks so cool. Let's have a look at the existing stuff here. Trailers. Um... 27k does it say does it have like a horsepower requirement i guess it depends on what you're carrying <clears throat> hmm. uh, like for example uh, a cultivator these guys require 130 horsepowers this one requires 300 wow i think you don't think you need that intense we can play like a cedar. That's decent. That's too expensive. That requires 180 horsepower. This one looks good. This one has a fertilizer built in. That's nice. If I understand that correctly, this can carry seeds and fertilizer. So it's a two-in-one thing. And this would require 180 horsepower tractor. So we should have a tractor that has at least that much power, I think. You probably need more land before you buy the vehicles. So, hmm. JCB tractor sucks. It made an appearance during your potato job. <laughs> Okay, we'll stay away from that then.
Sorry, just read Jack's message. Sure thing, Jack. <clears throat> so you, you guys think we should lease first? That's okay. We can do that and then we can um, just return it later and then purchase a new one if we like it or try some other stuff. That can work. So let me start off by buying Field 42. I think that's a good way to start it. You could lease and harvest the wheat, sell a portion, save some of the wheat and use that money toward the tractor. I like the sound of that. So let's buy this. Did it. Oh, I feel bad already. <laughs> okay, that's ours. Let's go and lease a combine. Let's go and start looking at the headers for wheat. Yeah, th these are for wheat. 5.7, 7.6, I don't think we need to splurge so much. The largest one we can get is 13.7. meters well this is pretty cheap 12 meters but only 47,000 ah it can, it's only for sunflowers never mind okay these guys the power flow in Dynaflex hmm, what's the difference no problem wise man Glad you're here and thanks for the stories. <laughs> Have a good night, man. <clears throat> yeah. So we can go with the Agco. Let's see how much that is to lease. Hey, Alex. Hey. You have any preference on which harvester to get? Field, if you're gonna lease one, you might as well get a big one as long as it's not prohibitively expensive. Oh, yeah, true. Let's see how the, the, the most expensive one leasing it is 23,000. But at the end that you're just leasing and starting, you could start with a smaller one because really time is not going to be a critical element anyway. So we don't need to go all out yet. Let's maybe get somewhere in the middle just so it's not that long. It doesn't take that long. This Massey Ferguson one. How about this one? This uh, Rost Cell Mash RSM161. This guy. Uh, that's a nice one because it comes with its own set of wheels. You don't have to have a trailer for it. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think we can try this. Leasing is 15k. Perfect. Let's go and lease that. And the corresponding header. Oh, that was fast. I have slightly less, uh, worse ping than before. Not that much. 100 ms. There you go. Welcome hey. to the farm. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find the commands for this guy. Oh, there, yeah, there. You can vet him. <laughs> you can let, let him go with you. And then you can make him go home too. <laughs> yeah, he just ignores the balls though. 
He wasn't trained well, I think. Okay, let's feed him. There you go. All right. So we were testing last night, and, do and Jack sold my dog. <laughs> sold your dog? He sold huh? my dog. Can you imagine? <laughs> how? Oh, yeah. The dog house. I see. Okay, let's... <laughs> Where's the guy? Let's go in the shop. Oh yeah, you're right. This comes with its own like trailer already. Cool. Do we need to lease a tractor and a decent sized trailer or Yes, let's do that. Or it could, it could be a truck and a trailer, I guess if we're just gonna lease it. Hmm. It's up to you how you want to do it. I guess we can go with the tractor, so it can also be used for uh, sowing later on in all the other farm uh, farm things. <laughs> that yeah. we do. It depends on how long you want to lease it, or if you want to buy one. If you want to lease it, you could just use it for this job and give it back. But it's up to you. Hmm. I actually haven't done any analysis on it yet. Oh, why is the wheel so hard to steer? My goodness. And it looks like it's stuck with that. Uh, oh, that's weird. That 360 angle thing. Let me see. Um, oh, the... The uh, Logitech profiler thing crashed. Logitech gaming software. Start that up. Hopefully it became good now. Or there we go. That's more like it. Perfect. Hmm. So I think I'd like to buy one. I'm not, just not sure if we'll have enough money for it. Let me get rid of stop and go braking. Uh Automatic engine start is off. Stop and go braking. Oh, I think I, I'm okay with that. So if we go, we stop, hold the brakes, it automatically reverses for us. Yeah, that's easy. Convenient. Can we attach like this? Maybe not. How did you guys start in Jack's farm? Did you lease first or buy already? Uh, when we were testing or on his other farm? Um, when we were testing, we were just playing around. We, we just modded in a bunch of money. From <laughs> <laughs> just try it. That makes sense. But in his other farm, the chat will thing? Had some equipment and we used that to harvest some crops first and we sold those and we went from there actually is what we did because the farm had some crops ready to harvest on if I remember correctly. Mm. So it started off with something in there already? Yes. I remember right. So how that was a long we... time ago. I can imagine. Huh, interesting. So we'll have to go all the way around to here. Go through the main road here, turn left, turn left on field 10, and then go straight and turn off that way. Looks like it. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty straightforward. And now I think we can stay on the right side, supposedly. steer properly first oh goodness why is this this feels so weird oh with the lag i'm not used to the lag again it's been a while since i've farmed and online in this server
This map looks amazing though. I love how uh, lush the landscape is. Everything is just green. Oi, oi. No. <laughs> One sec. What's happening? Okay, that's going to put a dent on that brand new. Thankfully, we just leased it. <laughs> Goodness. Okay, let's drive properly this time. So, what do we do? Maybe let's start from there and work backwards. We need to harvest this stuff. So we'll need this combine and then we'll need the um, some, way to haul it. some way to haul it and then after that what do we do? We have to work on the field. So we need a tractor of relatively decent horsepower. Right. And then we can either lease all those do the stuff and then uh, give it back or we can buy them and do contracts with those equipment Man, look at how beautifully this is mapped this feels so real the fs19 engine the graphics is amazing and the performance is silky smooth hey stinky i'm glad you made it man we are starting on a new farm today with the concept of cooperative farming. Multiple different <clears throat> farms focusing on different industries. Crops, livestock, forestry, and uh, logistics. Hey, how to? <clears throat> Welcome to the stream, man. Sorry if I read that wrong. Man, the fields here are massive. Not as big as the other map you saw, but I think there were performance problems with that map, right? Yeah, unfortunately it did. It stuttered. Bad because it was a really beautiful map. This yeah. one's very nice too. Though. This one's very nice. I've been watching some guy, I forgot his name on YouTube, but I shared it in Discord. Oh my, my turning is absolutely horrendous with this delay. <clears throat> um and he was doing time lapse videos on this farm. So I've been learning supposedly some tricks, but I think I forgot all of them already. <laughs> so I don't think that will help anymore. <clears throat> hey Welsh, welcome to stream. You set an alarm. Amazing. Thank you, we'll need it. No cheat is anymore. That's the map, Welsh. Or right, Jason. I think. Uh, to go to field 42, we turn right on this bend right here. Past the chicken coop and the cattle area. I think that looks good. Would you like a tractor with narrow tires for the end of the top Oh yes, yes please. That sounds good. Oh, doesn't matter, I can't do it anyway. <laughs> oh right, right, right. <laughs> Alright, forgot about that. That's uh there you go. That should break. And we'll take a better tour of the farm later as we explore this. Deborah, I'm not yet sure who should be buying this land. If it's the Crop Farmer, Crops Unlimited, or Animal Crossing Inc. So this is field 42. The shape is a bit weird. I think we'll get used to it somehow. This is field 41, all grass. Should be safe for us to go through here. There you go. 
looks a good map. It looks like it. We're only starting off, but I've watched some videos on it and it looks very promising. Is this the front? I guess I am on the wrong side, huh? Hmm. <laughs> I never figured that out. Sorry, give me a few minutes to get acquainted with the delay again, guys. It feels so weird. Wrong side, AG. Eh, <laughs> Glad you made it, man. Welcome back. How have you been? Hopefully, this farm will be nicer for you. Less crashy. And more, you are more than welcome to join in whenever you are feeling like it. We have seasons off, we have plant withering off, so people can join in at any time they're available and work on their farms or whichever they're interested in without negatively affecting other farms in the process. My goodness, how do real life farmers do this? They can see nothing from here. Thanks for joining, G. Hope you feel better, man. <clears throat> Unfold. Oh, that's nice. So when you're working, you can fold actually the trailer. And then this one open. Start it up. Uh, and unfold it. There you go. I should have access to this land. There you go. Is the chaff thing on? Yes, the swath rather. Working. Take it easy. Yeah, take it easy, Chi. Hope you feel better soon, man. Get some rest. This is not bad, the first person view. We can trace the surroundings like so. Just to get a feel of the shape of this field. And I think we can also make use of the... Hmm. What do you think we can do with this straw? I think we can get it, we can bale it, and then we can sell it to the crops guys, uh, the, the, the Animal Crossing Inc. I think that's a very nice uh, starting point, so we can get a baler in the around baler I think let's see how that works yeah welcome back home man sorry guys I'm driving very slow <laughs> <laughs> Still not used to it. Okay. Might get some itchy legs here again. 
This is actually a pretty humongous field, huh? Because I have not even reached like one fourth of the border. And we're already 26% full. Interesting. Alright, but yeah, we can start off with focusing on the wheat. And then we can think about the uh, the straw that's lying around. Bly is not here yet. <laughs> Welcome back, Jack. Beef in black bean stir fry. Yummers. Now I'm hungry. I wonder if a worker can manage this complex field. What I've watched in the time lapse by the guy, he has a way of like doing some stuff manually. So like simplifying how the field shapes like, like doing the, the, the tricky areas. And then when it's more uniform, then he leaves it to the worker. But I am not uh, familiar yet with the worker's AI to know how to simplify this field. Maybe I can just cut it off, make it rectangle if possible. I have no clue. Oh, cool. Alex to the rescue. <laughs> oh, that's a nice trailer and tractor. Good choice. Yeah, the colors don't match, but I couldn't change. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Blue and orange ish. At least they're. Uh, they say complimentary. <laughs> Playing it safe. KM, hi, welcome back. Thanks for the resub, man. Wait a minute, 12 months? 12 months, one year. Oh my goodness. <laughs> GG, man. Congrats on the 12 months. One full year being subscribed. And I think you are also one of the founders. You should have that badge too. I'm not sure if that's how it works. Thank you. How are you doing? Are the kids asleep? Oh, look at this. Alex Pro Farming. I'm <laughs> 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 not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> I just went to sleep. Nice. What have you been playing recently? Hey, Sonoma! Glad you made it, man. Is it safe to assume we also the the new patron that, that, that we have? So I, I saw that the, uh, we have a new patron called Sonoma, but I'm not sure if it's you too. I just kind of assumed. EU4. Sorry, what is that? six miles that's you oh that is so cool man thanks for inspiring me and making more flight sim videos and I'm loving it because we're starting to get more traction just a tiny bit better but it's you can feel that there is an increase in the viewership in the view counts in the comments so 
I'm loving it. So I'm hoping I can do more. Europa Universalis 4. Ah, yes, I've heard of that, but I've never tried it myself. It's a paradox game. Nice. I guess it could be like considered a classic now. One of the classics. Very complicated. This is like... Uh, is it similar to Civilization? Or more like Age of Empires? Real time? Or more uh, turn based uh, intellectual stuff? Fun once you learn. Be part of the gang. There you go. <laughs> Clumsy shirts. How's your shirt treating you, Alex? Is it still good? Oh, it's good, yeah. Great to hear. Hours haven't arrived yet. Should, yeah, it should be this week or next maybe. They said they've been shipped, but uh, I haven't tracked them yet. Yeah, I've been wearing it and taking cash donations. So. <laughs> awesome. Third person farming is just so easy. Much easier than first person. Don't think I can go back to this one. Because with this it kinda of feels like a bit kinda of feel paranoid that I'm going to miss something. It is much more immersive this way though. Maybe I can try it. Let's mix it up. Nightbot has a way of sneaking up on chat. Let's go back here. This is easier. Also more friendly on the frame rate. Ah, a good alignment in here at least. This is nice. I can use that left small tire on the header to align it to the edge of the field. It's not the, the, the most practical but it is easier to know. Maybe I can move it a bit off. I will see. Yes, I'm going to do the whole field. So this will take a while. Uh, might hire a worker though, either a virtual worker, an AI worker, or a <laughs> quote unquote contractor. But I'm absolutely loving those time-lapse farming videos. They're so relaxing. Like if you record this kind of angle and just fast forward it, it, it gets so relaxing. It's like OCD friendly, like trimming the, the field and not missing a spot. Oh, that is so fulfilling. a bit of work though. That's where the fun is. Working together on fields like this. So many things you can do. have uh, to mix in the stuff that comes out the back after you finish uh, which one you mean those stuff at the back that we leave behind um, yes we're going to do something with those as well we're going to collect them and make them into bales and then we can either sell them for the other farm because right now in this model we're, we're only beginning in this model, we have two farms that are focusing on different things. Well, we have four, but one is focusing on crops, like this, what we're seeing. The other one is going to focus on animals, 
so the straw that's left behind we can bail and sell to them by them meaning us also like we can switch change hats and now we're animal livestock farmers <laughs> but yeah that can be a thing yeah and we can haggle on prices <laughs> which is kind of conflict of interest if we're the same guys will be in both uh, situations so I guess we can do like market value or a bit higher than the highest price in the, the field or something like that so I'm not sure if there is a way at all to to uh, what do you say to buy crops if you don't have a farm of your own don't think this map has it the good thing is without seasons I don't think the animals die so if you neglect them they'll just stay at zero but they'll just hang in there <laughs> for dear life Hey Tom, welcome back. Glad you made it today. Guess what? What? Tell me. I saw a nice angle from one of the time lapse videos I've been watching, like this one. Top view, like a drone. Kinda hard though, but I can try it out. Something like that maybe. All the different angles. By the way, I was trying to get a copy of the A321, the Airbus A321 that's going to release on Friday. I was trying to coordinate with the developers. Uh, I failed though. <laughs> they didn't. Uh, they weren't interested. They said they were too busy to accommodate such requests. So it looks like I won't have early access, unfortunately. It looks like I'll have to buy it on my own. But that's all good. It's fair. I appreciate them taking the time to reply at all because usually those things, uh, with the, them being so busy. The developers usually just don't reply at all. So that was actually a very courteous thing, very professional thing they did, even replying in the first place. I mean, that's how it is. You pitch stuff, sometimes you sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So in the meantime, we practice with the A319. Also in the, the clumsy pilot software, I love it. It simulates your life as a pilot. You start off with like a small airline uh, company. And I just switched, just this morning, I switched to a bigger one, Cebu Pacific. It's a budget airline, but it's actually like the biggest airline in the Philippines now, I think. I'm not sure if it overtook the, the Philippine Airlines in terms of revenue. So they, they offered me a job and I accepted it. So now I'm earning more. I'm flying with the Cebu Pacific livery. It feels good. Super immersive stuff. I'll make a video on that again. Fly some more places. And now more destinations are unlocked, like I can choose because Cebu Pacific, the airline, has destinations outside the country, so we can start venturing out of the Philippines now. Super cool. That will be even more amazing with the A321. We'll see. 
But farming, farming has an appeal of its own. This just relax the vibe. Sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. Better try. Yeah, definitely. Because if you try, then you automatically fail. <laughs> At least when you try, there is a chance of winning. <clears throat> you went to bed, your knee was fine. Since Saturday, woke up in the middle of the night, killing you again. Yeah. I could hardly walk. Alright. Good luck, man. How do you usually uh, fix that? Is it, do they give you medicine? Or, you know, what is usually done? We had a housemate before, back when we were still living with some of the guys. Like there were like uh, three families in one flat, and one of our housemates, they had this. Oh, I forgot what the term was. Um, I'm not sure if it's arthritis. Uh, gout? Is it gout? The, where they their feet like swells up and they cannot walk something like that and they had to uh, get the oh, I'm not sure what the English term is uh, like the stilts <laughs> for walking <laughs> maybe not stilts huh? uh, not sure what you call them yeah he needed those come again yeah, crutches, exactly. That's the one. <laughs> I think stilts are for circus or something. <laughs> yeah, close enough. So he needed crutches to walk when that happens. And I think it had something to do with the diet. Like, I don't know, uric acid or something. Yeah, that must be gout. Yeah. Yeah, initially we thought it was a joke, but apparently it was a real thing for him. But we were just surprised because he was kind of young. I mean, we were the same age. I guess that really depends. Uric acid is what you have, Tom. Ah, I see. No nuts for you then, huh? I remember my dad used to love nuts, cashew nuts in particular. And my mom would always have to scold him. Because he would not stop and then the next day he would pay for it. When Microsoft Flight Simulator comes out, let's see flying again. Well, definitely I will be trying out Flight Sim 2020 when it comes out, but yeah, I don't want to wait for it and miss out on the amazing stuff that's happening on X-Plane. But yes, no worries. Definitely getting into Flight Sim 2020. No matter how much it is, no matter what kind of rig it requires, I will upgrade, I will buy it. As long as it's as good as it's promising, I will go all in. <laughs> because I cannot miss that. My goodness. You eat unhealthy. It's your fault. Ah, I see. Yeah, diet plays a huge part in it. I guess there's some bit of genes in there as well, but I think diet is a huge contributor. Are we almost done with the field, Alex? <laughs> you think? <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> I might try and have a worker uh, get this so that we can bail at the same time do some parallel stuff I was gonna say if you want to do that I can run the harvester and we can park the trailer inside the field now and we just get the harvester call I can go dump it from the trailer yeah sounds like a good plan I'm almost full with the trailer now though so it's not gonna be too much time before I have to go okay maybe we let's whatever you want whatever you want to do with it I'm at 80% right Cool. Okay, maybe let's fill the trailer and then let's, I don't know, maybe drop it in the silo first, or if we can. And then I, you can take over the harvesting while I get the baler. This is proper farming. 
I've been trying to avoid the actual farming in farm sim, but uh, now that I've dug in, it does feel kind of liberating. <laughs> Very relaxing vibe. Very different from the usual stuff. Like simulators in general are already relaxing, but this one is on a completely different level. I think sometime I will make uh, I might make a series. Let's we'll see if I have enough time for it. For it to like combine let's play format with time lapse stuff. Let we'll me see how that who, works. The guy who updated this map to work with Farm Sim 19 is about to update a map called Sandy Bay. And it's really going to be interesting. It's based in England, I think on the east coast of England. It has a lot of very unique features, uh, including even speed cameras. If you get caught speeding, you get fined. <laughs> wow. If you use seasons, the roads can flood. There's wow. A lot of, and it's very detailed. Nice. And then he's, he's coming out with a brand new map called Calmston, C A L M. SDEN, it looks like it's really going to be promising. Uh, no release date yet on it. He's working on it. Wow. David That's Oxygen, Oxygen David is the name. And he was the one who converted this? Yes, this was originally by someone else. I uh -huh. think for Farmsim 17. And he updated it to be compatible with 19. Plus, I think he you know, added some detail and stuff. I see. That is so cool. I didn't know you could do so many things with the map. Like, it's like I'm not even sure how that works. Code stuff in for the additional features. That's so cool. I thought the map was basically like a different skin, but yeah. As when I started exploring with the Sussex farms and saw those wow trucking jobs and all the other interesting features in the map, I realized the map is more than just a reskin. It really has I don't know, almost limitless potential, depending on how creative the mod author is. Yeah, the Sandy Bay maps he even has his own AI. <laughs> Like with their own logic and stuff? I don't know whether they come with any different logic. It's probably just <laughs> as bad as ever. How about you mean the models? Yes, the models. Ah, works. It looks very impressive on Facebook page. Wow. Yeah. Maybe by the time those release, we'll uh, be well off here in this farm already. We'll see. We did some truckers MP lasted three minutes. <laughs> so we just kept going the wrong way in cars, damage your truck. Ah, I see. Yeah. You were playing on the normal server, right? Um, yeah, but if you play on the pro mod server, it's less likely that you encounter those kinds of people. I can't go any faster, the trailer is so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Look at that! <laughs> nice. A USA simulation bomb, I see. Yeah, can be a bit tricky. Have you heard any news on 1.37 yet, Alex? Nothing. Goodness, Seems there. Like Hopefully, yeah. I saw that they'll be streaming. Can't remember when. Soon. Hopefully, there's something in there. 1.37 surprise, or I don't know. Nice. Uh, would you like me to put this in the, your silo, or do you want me to sell it? 
Um, maybe in the silo first, so that we can decide later what we do with it. There's plenty here yet. Yeah, you can plenty to sell or do whatever you want. Uh, how how much is in there? Thirty-one thousand liters. Nice. <clears throat> yeah, maybe we can sell that to Animal Crossing Inc. Yeah, we can test that later. I think let's put everything in the silo first and then let's uh, finish this up. And then once that's done, we can test what the, how to interact with the other farms. We'll need a calculator. Maybe we can do this straight line already, different format. Instead of tracing everything through. We can do it that way. It's okay, Jay. You can allow it. <clears throat> Thank you. There was a farming simulator before. I backed it in Kickstarter, I remember. Cattle and crops. <clears throat> I'm not sure how far it's gone, but uh, yeah, that seems like a a lost cost now well maybe it will still turn around but I tried testing it before it was still very early access fields but that was like two years ago or something it had very promising um, features but yeah I think in the end it doesn't quite beat FS19 Flight Sim 2020 will be on Xbox One as well, I believe, yeah. <clears throat> that is what's going to be a real game changer. Console players will be able to have access to Flight Sim. <clears throat> uh, sorry, didn't get that. Like <laughs> hey, Jack. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I said, would you like would you like me to continue the harvest while you get baler or you get a baler or something? Yes, please. Yes. Uh, okay. Let me just turn this around and I'll. Oh crap! I missed the spot. First person farming for the win. Okay, I'll leave this to you. <laughs> so it's like you did this. <laughs> Thank you. How your PS4 just went up too. I'm not sure if it will be on PS4 as well. Um, it does sound like a Microsoft exclusive, doesn't it? I'm not sure. I'm just interested in PC, <laughs> to be honest. <clears throat> okay, good. Um, so, we go and shop for a baler. Let's go and look for baling technology thingies if I can find it probably staring right in the face that one um, <clears throat> this one is a wrapper Break it down. No, that turns it into silage. Wait, what? <laughs> I I could not resist. Crappy uh, farmer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
So we have a couple of options. It's a wrapper, yes. Just a different spelling there, Tom. <laughs> Just one more P and it would have been okay with Automod. <laughs> So we need a wrapper and we need a trailer. So we can get. We want round or I think I like the round ones, because I've been looking at the <clears throat> in this time lapse. It's so cool how the forklift, how the the fork. Oh, I don't know what the term is. The front loader just uh, punches through the 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 bale, and carries it. For the animals and stuff. Um, how do you know which one is the size again? Which one is the circular one? The round or the boxed? I think this is the one with the round, the round baler, right? The second one, corn, is a square bag. Second one is a square bell. Oh yeah, you're right. Based on how that looks. Thanks. Let's go with this one then. Um, do we buy it? We just lease it, right? <coughs> it is. Okay, thanks. No worries, Tom. Ice hockey thing. I would have no idea what that looks like, <laughs> but I'll trust you. <laughs> Anything to do with ice and snow. I thought Alex ran away with the harvester, it's gone. There he is. <laughs> I'm stealing it. <laughs> Grand Theft Harvester. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that, right? How fast that goes. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's leave the trailer here. Do you need a. Maybe I can unload you for a bit. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll just leave it here for now. Nice trailer and nice color. Love it. Good choice. Uh, shall we look for a shortcut? I don't like the sound of that, but we can try. After we synchronize, we have a new worker entering the field. Alright. Um. <laughs> <clears throat> Would you like to be a livestock farmer? <laughs> I would have no idea how that starts. I mean, I guess you lease like an animal trailer, get a tractor, get them in, but after that, you'll have to buy off stuff from the Crops farm, crops unlimited. So here I think it's a dead end, so we'll have to. Yeah, I think that's the, the easiest way is where we went to. Okay, okay, that's fine. Cousin, his daughter is in what is 4H? Uh, she has goats. Ooh, nice. How many? Four are pregnant. Good to hear. Hey, maybe we can take a little bit of tour of the place. I saw this in a video. So I have an idea where things are. High level, but not really in detail. Uh, one sec. So here we see we have 31,000 liters of uh, wheat already. So Alex was able to deposit that into the silo, which should be right here, I think. You drop these off here. And if you want to get something, you go on the other side, on that spout. Here we can leave our tractors maybe some other equipment what is this fuel ah fuel nice 
So that's where we can refuel, looks like. In the default game, do you need to put diesel in the fuel area? Or does it just always have fuel? I'm thinking if Sussex Farms is the default behavior or not. This is the cows area. I think this is where they'll be. This is where they'll be hanging out. This is where we drop them off. Water is somewhere here. There you go. And what's cool here is there's actually a, you can actually deposit the bales somewhere. But I saw that this one is where you can store the bales for their food. Pretty nice. So it really feels like a farm. This one, I'm not sure what it is. Silage or something yucky. <laughs> That's a technical term. Forage is like you go to fairs and show off what you have for prize money. Ah, I see. Interesting. Forage is like a youth agricultural deal where, especially here in the US, it's usually high school children, kids, and younger participate. Nice. Is that like a one-day event? Uh, 4-H is all a lot. They do a lot of different things and they do it year-round, not just in the school year, so. Ah, nice. <clears throat> they encourage, supposed to encourage agriculture people. That's cool. They do a lot of nice things. Yeah, it's quite important. <clears throat> in the Philippines, we have something starting like that. Not really an event, but more like more appreciation for the farmers. Because without them, life really suck. <laughs> but <laughs> they don't, they're not given uh, enough recognition, I think. It's not seen as a very like lucrative industry or something. This is where we can store our combines when we own some of these already. <clears throat> Although technically this is still not our land, I'm not sure if we need, even need to buy it. But I guess if we plan to plop something down here, then we should be buying it. <laughs> that is for l uh, lime, I think. And uh, this farm just feels very real. Even some of these like worn down trailers here on the side some work in progress stuff nice very cool okay sort of getting used to the delay again i think we'll see I guess if you're in the Animal Crossing farms, Animal Crossing farm, you can still do contracts, right? Lease equipment just so you can have like capital for buying more animals. I guess the main source of your food will be from the Crops Unlimited farm. Oxygen View is the street name. Eh? 
am I going to buy Animal Crossing? It's a <clears throat> Switch only. It's a Switch exclusive thing, so I don't think I am. <clears throat> also, it looks very kid friendly. Not exactly the graphics I'm looking for, but I'm sure it appeals to a lot of people. Alright, Sing Lam. <laughs> Good luck, man. Enjoy. Catch you later. The big question is is Mrs. Crumbs still house flipping? <laughs> she is, kind of. Not as intensely. Because she found a mobile. Uh, a mobile flipper of a sort it's much more simplified but she actually likes it because the pressure is less like there is less flexibility to model stuff there are like predefined areas where you can choose what to put and then you have people rate it and then you it's actually a very nice concept I don't remember the name of the app but it's like it uses real-life furniture for interior designing and then those furniture you can have a look and you can buy them in real life if you like so it's like av advertising but playing at the same time and you're getting inspiration and practicing your interior designing skills so it's it's, like it's yeah it's like a, a game slash uh, simulator and then you can buy the stuff for real <laughs> so cool smart people behind it Yeah, it was for Switch only. I thought you were telling me, Tom, that I stink. <laughs> I read that again and I got it. Then. I was thinking, what did I do to Tom? <laughs> the names you come up with, huh? Clumsy, stinky llama. <laughs> <Alex. laughs> That's the worst, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> F mod sounds right there. <laughs> Not quite. But uh, we can live with it. So we build this thing, we'll also need a trailer afterwards. That's fine, one step at a time. Can we lease maybe... Would it be wise to lease one more tractor? Do we need more stuff to do in parallel? Or is one enough? This guy go. <laughs> Ominous laugh. I was gonna say that didn't sound good. <laughs> oh, he's a different fall. It's <laughs> all my money. Hey, hang on, I can't do any. Hey! <laughs> Rip. <laughs> One sec, let me see where you are. There we go. Animal Crossing Inc. is owned by Jack. Uh, transfer money to farm. No, ah, this is what you mean, grand contractor. I thought. Yes. He, I see. What does that allow? But does it allow stealing? <laughs> it, it allows access to your lands and I think your equipment, right, Jack? Yep. Should allow you to be able to pick up stuff from the floor. Um. Use your grain from your silo, etc. And use. Nice. However, if you have your own tractor from your own farm with your own trailer, if you go to, say, your farm and get something out of the silo, as soon as it comes out of the silo into, you, into the, to the other person's trailer, they own it. In other words, it's no longer owned by the, the original farmer. So One. they could actually technically take it and sell it if they want. <laughs> so I guess we have to, for security, we have to grant contractor only when we're there and then revoke it right after the transaction. <laughs> yeah. Buy a bunch of locks. 
I lost all my corn to Alex. <laughs> a bit too hey, trusty. I paid you a hundred dollars for that corn. <laughs> <laughs> for a hundred tons. <laughs> what a yeah, bargain. Yeah, the whole trailer was. <laughs> and it was a big truck too. Is this the farm? Yes. Let's go and bail stuff. And once Bla gives us the mod for his US truck, we can add it. And then the clumsy trucking company can use that as its main source of uh, income. There are some U.S. trucks already in the game. All oh, right, I think they are not branded, right? Like uh, right. Yeah, they're lizard. Or lizard. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't give that much confidence with the name, but <laughs> yeah, I, I like the truck from Blah because it can do so many things, and I think it's going to be perfect for a logistics-based uh, company. So this baler is the one that is a bit manual, right? Like you have to... How do you say? Yeah. Once it's full, it will have that siren when it's almost full. And then we'll have to spit it out manually. Uh, let's see. And if, until you do that, he cannot do anything else. Unload, that's the one. That one. Ah, okay, lesson learned. We have to... We have to go back before we spit it out. Otherwise, there would be some straw left behind. What the heck am I doing? Like a circus? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Farming football, anyone? Starting to make your knee feel better. That's good to hear. Hope it continues. <coughs> Let's go third person here. So you can see what I'm doing. I guess I don't have to be totally OCD about it. If I don't pick up 100% of the straw, it won't matter that much financially. So I'll just do one loop as best I can. And uh, we see if we need to do any more afterwards. First a little, we spit it out, and then we go back in, like so. Rinse and repeat. Nice. How does owning your own farm feel like, Jack? It's wonderful! 
<laughs> Don't even think of pirating my own only employee. That's <laughs> already paid. Yeah, I'll I'll pay. Hang on. <laughs> Wait till we're unionized. <laughs> So Craig got a new mic? Yeah, he got the AT2020. Oh nice, that's a good one, right? The audio, audio technica thing. Yeah. Very famous uh, condenser mic, I think that is. I'm not missing it all. That's good. What's all this straw doing laying over here? <laughs> Wasn't me. <laughs> I'm kidding, actually, you're getting almost every bit of it. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm not even looking back anymore. <laughs> Otherwise, if I see something, I'll have to go back for it. My OCD trying will not. I'm trying to get higher wages. <laughs> Should assign this key to something. Mm. Let me see if I can find a key. Bumsy, did you find is the farm sim side panel available for you? I'm um, actually haven't checked. That's, that's a good point. Maybe some of the we have some simulator oriented stores here, maybe one or two. They might have them actually. be interesting are you guys planning on getting one i am <laughs> nice. I'd like to. i would like to but i think i'll need to find some more real estate space first the table <laughs> needs to be bigger <laughs> true See how it looks in third person. Maybe this, is better. this looks better. Actually, it's easier in first person. Much easier. Stick here. Load star F 1800 flatbed. You know, I have no idea. It might be. It might be. <laughs> I even thought it was the one that Stab stole, the Hulk plus plus. It looked uh, similar to me, to my ignorant eye. Oh, is that not working? Love it how that bail just rolls like that. Physics for the win. I thought they'll be hitting that other bell soon enough. We offset it a little. That should work perfectly well, I think. Like a boss. Good. Just 
looking in the side mirror for the bail. Okay, there it is. Harvest season. I guess it's a really big thing, huh? In real life for farmers. Should be the flat the truck he might have picked up. Ah, might be. Look at that! Some guy in another farm. Just trying to steal our stuff. It's mine, it's mine! <laughs> Ooh. Someone's planning to get some grass? Did you buy a field? Yeah, I took 32, I think. 32. Oh, this big one? No, 34, sorry. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Just above yeah. the farm, in orange. Yeah. Nice. Oh, so that's what the color coding is for. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> okay. Cool. Ooh, this is a bad train. <laughs> mm. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. No passing through our <laughs> farm. <laughs> right, what else they got? A guard dog, that's what we got. <laughs> Wasn't there an option before where you can set how many times you need to fertilize? Yes. I cannot find it. <coughs> so helper refill. Uh, let's turn that off. So you always need to provide your own fertilizer and stuff. Plant withering is off. Crop destruction is still on. Periodic plowing and lime and weeds are still on. But I don't see anything about the fertilizer. have removed it not sure <clears throat> hmm, I remember it being like one two three. yeah or was that in FS17 did you have something I was trying to look for it but yeah. hmm Maybe they changed it in one of the recent patches. <clears throat> That's what that big pit is for. Slurry pit. Oh, I uh, thought that you could make that into a swimming pool. <laughs> I'm not swimming. Where do you normally use that for? The, the fertilizer? Is that ah, for fertilizer? Ah, okay. So 
So that counts as a fertilizer. Yes. Nice. And there's a new trailer mod coming out, slurry tank, that actually you can shoot the fertilizer out the side and it covers a huge area. <laughs> Perfect. It just sounds wrong to say it's a poop shooter, but. <laughs> uh, oh, in the news about, I don't know, maybe 10, 11 years ago, there was a farmer that was disgruntled with his bank. And he actually manured the bank with one of those. <laughs> Good use of his equipment. Yep, you should have seen it. it oh, <laughs> brown. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can imagine that really happening. You guys are probably on mute on stream, but it the the sleepy song is playing right now. Fills up like crazy, super fast. I wonder if, hmm, if you sell if you sell bales, will it be more expensive than just selling the straw in its what do you say, unbaled form, uncut form, or cut form? I have no clue. I don't think there'll be much of a difference is there is there <clears throat> Cause maybe what I saw the guy do in his time lapse, I think he just got he just like bailed uh like one uh one trailer's worth of bales and then the others he just collected. The straw I mean. He didn't bail everything. But I have not been counting, so I'm not sure how many bills we have already. <clears throat> and then I saw he had this kind of thing where he would stick the... So he would, like, how do you say? Uh, stick the bale through with a front loader with a fork or something. And then... He would have a device in front that would like spew it out to the left side or right side for feeding like a, a straw or a hay dispenser oh like a shredder yes something like that so the bale gets uh, transformed uh, well, gets thrown out to the side the, mm. the contents might might be from a mod though not sure if that's in the vanilla uh, Equipment look pretty cool. I think our grain trailer is just pretty much full. If it's not full, it's, well, it might be a little bit more to put in there. Nice. Hey, thanks for following. Welcome to the channel. Hey, Madstav. Feels like an ASMR stream of farm sim. <laughs> That's good to hear. That's the goal. Needs to make it a bit more relaxing. It's chilling. Just have us muted, <laughs> That's the only missing piece. What? I saw a, a YouTuber experimenting with, and I didn't know you could do this. He had a field of wheat. He took a mower and he mowed it into, um, what does the grass turn? Huh? 
Hi. Hey, yeah. <clears throat> when you yeah. when you did it. He, yeah, he just mowed a whole field of wheat into into hay? I didn't know you could do that. Yeah. Oh wow. But did he so did apparently it first? you can do it with barley or Ah Wouldn't that be a waste though? Instead of just doing that on grass. Yeah, he was saying that um, the only difference is that you get the wheat when you harvest it and then bale. So you get to sell the product and the, the left. But you get about the same amount with either. Ooh, interesting. It's not working. Still lifted. There we go. Will they ever collect all these? No. <clears throat> Let's just skip over them. The fun part here is collecting the bills with the fancy trailer. I wish we have them though. I'm not sure actually if that's from a mod. Do we have a round baler collector? No, that is a mod. Oh, <laughs> I won't use the fork thingy for this. <laughs> no <laughs> freaking way. <laughs> oh my goodness. Should have gone with the square ones then. So the, in terms of feeding, does it uh, change? Um, are there different requirements with seasons versus no seasons? As in the food mix or the event? Like uh, what the different animals require? No. Ah, that's good. Okay. The milk delivery is completely different, right? The uh, milk delivery, yeah. That's yes. slightly different. It's a bit more... It's a bit easier on this without seasons. Yes. You just park your truck there and it fills up. How did it work in seasons? I don't think we reached that uh, point. In seasons, they had to have babies before they started producing milk. See. So in here, without seasons, they just start producing milk already as soon as you get them. Yeah. Nice. I can work with that. Uh, basically, without seasons, there's a lot less waiting around. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> All right, Sonoma. Thanks a lot, man. Have a good night. Hopefully, more flights in soon. You're drinking sparkling water and it says 100% guaranteed. If you're not 100% satisfied, call a phone number. Guaranteed to do what? Bubble? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Interesting. Satisfied or else. Hmm. I think I'll go around for this one. So, without mods, how do you get these round balers aside from that horrendous fork? Um, there 
there's no light. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, actually, you can get a front loader and put um, a bailing fork on the front, which spot. Oh. Then load them onto that dolly trailer. <laughs> that sounds so painful. Hey, Jack, you want to buy some bales? No, no I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> you can pick them up yourself. I was going to say, no. you have to pick them up. <laughs> I can see it now, he's rolling bales down the road. <laughs> yeah. Goodness, maybe I should have thought of that first before I went ahead with this one. Uh, one step at a time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll worry about it later. Jack, do you have yeah, don't forget the bowels should be okay. They won't rot because we haven't got... Oh, that's true. You so you can a... leave them out and install them all. Sorry, up. I keep oh. cutting over. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll try and stop. <laughs> <laughs> you have a round bale trailer right. that picks all of them automatically. <laughs> Where's he at? Where's he at? He's gonna get the harvest <laughs> to run over here. <laughs> uh, you can go right on through the bike. Oh, thank you. I guess I can't come over here and do this. Why? Wow. The animals menu is not in is now in the back in the main menu again. Cause there's no season specific menu anymore. <laughs> Makes sense. Already? That was fast. So did you guys get to play Division? Bring that up, that was scary. Alex is an ass. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? It's not bad. <laughs> and this is Ruby. <laughs> Most detailed review. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Goodness. Sounds good. <laughs> hey, blah. Well, I personally <laughs> think it's better than the first one. It's good to hear. Quick, save us, blah. Nah, we're, we're good. We're doing good, but. We would love to have your company as well. Just working on a field here, harvesting and then bailing, and then I didn't have a clue that we that trailer which picks up these round bales is from a mod. So and we don't have that. <laughs> so <laughs> these will have to stay here for a while until we get that enabled. One was boring. Division one. I didn't get to try that either. 
Division 2 is better, I see. I was planning to buy it last weekend, but last minute I thought to myself I might not have enough time to play it. So I ended up not buying it for now. <coughs> Three and a half hour convoy on pro mods. Wow, nice. Where did you guys go from to where? No problem, man. Really looking forward to doing a convoy when F mod sounds are in place. Yeah, I'm not sure if I... I guess I could learn how to aim again. I had my Counter-Strike days. They were, I don't know, more than 10 years ago. Maybe 15 years, 20, I don't know. But I'm not sure if I would enjoy it as much. The game looked pretty cool though, graphics and everything. So is it a uh, like multiplayer? Just anyone can drop in, or do you have to create your own server like Farm Sim? Oh, it's all online. Anyone uh. can drop in, but you can have just. It's all PVE except for places like the dark zone where everybody can go in and steal your gear. <laughs> I see. Nice. You didn't tell me that. <laughs> yeah, we haven't been in there. <laughs> He's gonna steal my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go rogue and pop. That's what level small. are you guys at now? Oh, well, we just started, so we're pretty low. <laughs> Jack, Jack's way higher, but he's this is a different. He started on a new save game. Nice. Bottom of Italy all the way to Tanabru in Norway. Wow, Italy to Norway. Nice. It has matchmaking. Solo or multi with others. You can also make a plan. Very interesting. You can also play solo, I see. Maybe that's Bla nineteen forty six you saw Tom. Very intense with the shooting, I can imagine. <laughs> Two nine eight nine miles. Your trip, nice. Is this corn in front of us? Looks pretty cool. Pity the guy who'll have to f fix pick this up. <laughs> you pity the guy that's picking up. <laughs> this sounds like it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna go work for Jack. <laughs> <clears throat> Too late to sign the contract. <laughs> I didn't sign nothing. <laughs> Should that should have said that after you signed. <laughs> but I am done harvesting. Ooh, nice. Rad. 
that's So Jack, do you need some wheat? prices work in non-seasons they still fluctuate right yes <clears throat> should i <laughs> lease a tractor to pull this or do you want to have any kind of a waste to lease a tractor to pull this trailer oh for for the trailer yeah. yeah i think you can do so we can do stuff at the same time <laughs> Alright, Angkor. Thanks for hanging out. And enjoy. Wow, classic. Wow, it's been a while. Have a good one. Combine ATS with ETS2. Start out in Turkey, drive, take the train to the UK, take a boat to New York. <laughs> yeah, it would be interesting. It would be so cool. What if they made you wait though, huh? The entire trip in the boat, you just sit there. Still one is to 20 scale, but you still have to sit there until you arrive. It would be like harvesting a big field. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright, La, thanks. Uh, Jay was giving a link somewhere. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the one you're using. Can you link, again, link it again, Jay? and span Let's go fix this one oh my goodness <clears throat> the square baler would have been spitting out these stuff automatically. Would have would have been picking them up automatically. <laughs> I never learned with these round bales. That's why Jack loves the square bales. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. Maybe we can find the mod real quick so that I can pick, pick these up at least. Uh, I have to bring yeah. down the server for it. Which one? Uh, we use one. Um. Yeah, Jack's got one. I installed it last night, or maybe I already had it. Did I already have Ooh. that? Yep, you've already got it. There's a baler, a wrapper, and... Uh, no, just a baler and... No, a wrapper and a... Try. Bale trailer. Yeah. An automatic round bale trailer. I don't have that enabled yet, I think. Yeah, this one is for square bales. Okay, let's enable that later. I might have it too. Can you guys link it in the Discord? I'll uh, add it up quickly after we're done with this. Remind me to save though. <laughs> <laughs> the 
look similar. Okay, I'll wait for the link. Thanks, Blah. They see you driving in Florida on the right hand side and look at you like, yeah, he's from London. Why? <laughs> Is it that bad? Would you like me to put this in the silo, or should I sell this and make a little money? Uh, what to do? Yeah, we can sell it. I think one, one full load in the silo is enough. Where's the best price? Hollister stores? like it thank you <clears throat> there we go four thousand wow that turned pretty quickly didn't notice my baler looks filthy now Rohan would be so pleased yeah a few years ago I remember seeing a right side drive fan backing through a driveway since he was on the other side of the vehicle having a car facing ah I see yeah <laughs> is that legal in the US having a right hand drive car? Yes. Ah, okay. So importing is okay. As I remember, we had a hmm, what was it? My dad bought a Pajero Junior before, but it was imported from Japan. So it was right-hand drive and they had to convert it to left-hand drive and uh, it was not a perfect conversion i think some of the knobs were still inverted uh, so it, it was like a weird kind of setup but it was on the left side then the steering wheel was on the left side but like the indicators was on the right knob stuff like that the lights were on the right side and I'm not sure why they had to convert it maybe in the Philippines it's not legal or maybe just for ease of driving because most of the Philippines yeah. probably here if you drove a car every day they might be a touchy about that but if it's a specialty car they don't mind ah I see driving it all the time but as a general rule they won't bother you either this would feel very weird I guess huh? <laughs> look very weird too they would look at your car and feel like the, the driver is sleeping because <laughs> <laughs> the person in the passenger seat is for years on end when we moved to Singapore now I don't think I do that anymore but I would always look at the left side would see some guy or girl sleeping and I was like what the heck are they doing and then I would forget that the driver is on the other side and when like riding the, the taxi I would go on the right side and it, I would almost open the door right before seeing the driver sitting there already <laughs> so weird hey thanks for following welcome to the channel that yeah exactly okay the brown baler mods are in the thank you um does it say how many bales it can hold three 
<laughs> You're wishing no it's one. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Exactly what I was looking for. What can go wrong? It's automatic. You can only hold one. Looks like eight on the picture, but there's still a bit of room with them. Okay, thanks. Is that the biggest yeah, one you can find? <laughs> yeah, that's the biggest. <laughs> Some of those auto loading trailers. Okay. Ah, that's tricky. How do we sell these in the first place? Hmm. There should be a place where we can drop them off. So maybe what we can do is we can sell some of these through that point and then if you need straw jack we can sell uh, sell you at that same price or a bit more same expensive <laughs> like just the 50 percent markup <laughs> these are hand assembled bales <laughs> perfect i am full Sick. Let's drop this off. Got so used to the horn sounding off, I didn't recognize it anymore. Am I done? Peace on this side. What do you think we should plant next year? Cows. <laughs> With no legs, they wouldn't run away anyway. How do you figure out what to... Uh, what to plant in a non-seasons environment? Do you look at the price? Usually, know. yeah. And just hope that they, they won't change as much by the time those are ready. Yeah, if there's an upswing, you can... Yeah, plant and harvest before the upswing comes in. Mm. Yeah, that sounds promising. Okay. Thing this was just least never going with round bales again. <laughs> I did like that trailer that he had in the video though. So it was it was an automatic um, baler, um, automatic trailer. So he can pick them up automatically, and then when he unloaded them, it doesn't unload vertically; they unload horizontally. So it kind of looked, it was easier to unload because you don't have to take into account the vertical clearance and stuff. Alex, you're supposed to charge her. <laughs> it is charged. <laughs> Which one, the phone? Yeah, who was that? It was that Alex. Yeah. That's someone <laughs> screaming. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no problem, la. Yes, looking forward to it. Clumsy trucking company is waiting for it. Look at the farms we have. We have four now. Crops Unlimited, Animal Crossing Inc. 
tree tree logging and clumsy trucking company <laughs> ooh looks like uh, Jack has bought some stuff already with this stuff why are you not in there anymore did you leave your farm yeah I thought you was gonna put them mod oh oh yeah um that's true so uh yeah, Alex can start doing that already. Yes, okay, let's do that. I was thinking of... I knew I was going to get stuck with that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I wanted to try that myself. So maybe you can go on this one. <laughs> I can try uh, switching. Okay, let me save it. Let's enable that thing. And then let's get back into it. Save. Quit. Enable. Hey Grant, welcome to the stream. How are you? We are just uh, enabling some mods and we'll be right back. Um, nice, I see two mods here. One is... I think for six, one is... What is this other one? It's um, a wrapper. Ah, uh, I see. Oh, so it picks it up, it wraps it, and it drops it again? Yep. Cool. Right, let me download these guys. Let me go to the server. Should be pretty quick. Are you guys okay to stop the server for a bit? I'm good. Okay. <laughs> Stopping it now. Doing good too, Grant. Thanks for asking. He just started a new farm again and uh, kind of feeling our way in, getting used to the area. these guys <clears throat> that and that versus okay let's activate them good and now we start all right you guys can try logging back in again thank you i think i have bail sickness Putting this in my mods folder. Oh yeah, I already have them. I just didn't enable them in the server. Getting back in. Alright Grant, thanks for dropping by. Hey Ricky! Welcome to the stream. How are you? <clears throat> Catch you next time. There you go. What's uh, what silage for again? Animal food. Animal food. Um, so when if we get that wrapper, that will wrap those bales, and then when do, will those turn to silage? Not sure how it works in non-seasons. Yeah, okay. non-seasons. Not very long, but... drop them off that might be a good thing all right let's see 
I hope the bales are still there. <laughs> I have some more grain that was still in the harvester. Should I go ahead and sell that? You don't have that money anymore. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for the, thanks for the follow, Ricky. Let's go and get one of those new things. Um, I guess that's in baling technology. There we go. So we got this new two new Ursus. One is the bale collector, eight bales, and one is a wrapper. Packs grass bales in foil so they can ferment into silage. Uh, but that's yeah, I almost forgot that's for grass. So for now we just get this one. At least this guy. Hey there. <laughs> Cute. Right. Where's the tractor? I'll go pick it up and we'll test how it works. I I'll I'll let you experience the the bailing, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Bears are still here, yeah. Okay, I was kind of afraid that they would go out. We're done with the harvester. How do you turn it back in? Um, from the shop you can do it. If you press B, and then the least items or something. Okay, there it is. Sorry. Thank you. Oh, this is an, this is the same tractor. Let me yeah. drop this off for now. Thank you. Uh, where is that shop? Oh, I can go I through here. Somebody got the bailer on money. <laughs> it wasn't me. So nice to see these massive farms. Take a really long time to work on, but there is some sense of, uh, I don't know how you can describe it, achievement in working on a large farm, huh? Compared to a small one. Plus, the earnings are <laughs> much more significant too. This is a fairly small farm compared to the way some of them are in real oh. life. Oh wow. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah, seeing this much land, not very accustomed to this kind of uh, landscape. In most of Asia, everything is super compact. AI doesn't go through here in these roads. It's good for us. Fifty three kilometers per hour. Thirty two miles. Not too shabby. Is this a medium tractor, Alex? Uh, yes. Ooh. I just leased the same size because I knew it had enough horsepower to pull that trailer with the grain in it. <laughs> can barely do it when uphill. Huh? In full. But just enough power. I like this very relaxed vibe like you have a lot of things that you need to do but there is no immediate rush for them just not like the usual fast pace uh, city living kind of deal this is something like taking a vacation Tell my 
farmer friend who said farming is a vacation. <laughs> I, I heard myself and I was like, huh, that probably wouldn't go well for some people. <laughs> Maybe in a simulator it can be, but in real life, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> so your farmer friends, how are they, how are they liking the, the life of a farmer? Is this something they entered by choice? Most of the people I know that farm was a, was a family operation from, for generations. Uh, so it's, just, they, it's second nature to them. Figures, yeah. Makes a lot of sense. So they also own the lands? Yes. Cool. They may lease some property for additional crops or what have you, but they own a, usually own a base farm. <clears throat> and those lands must be massive, huh? Uh, by me, actually, the farms aren't very large. Mm. Because my where I live is fairly hilly, and the fields are somewhat broken up because of the, the way the land lays. Mm. But to the west of me, probably, I was telling Jack this last night, probably 45 miles or so, the land becomes extremely flat. So there they have massive farms. Ah, I can sort of imagine that. I mean, the scale, no, I don't think I can imagine that scale. <laughs> wow. I saw an interesting farm in Switzerland when we were hiking. It was literally uh, on the mountain and the, a tractor was working on it. And I, I, I felt like at any moment the tractor could tip over because of how hilly it was. But yeah, he was just... I'm not sure what he was doing actually, but he was working on the field, something. Can't remember what exactly, but yeah, he was just like normal stuff. Pretty, pretty much used to it, I guess. Just like when we were hiking that mountain, we were hiking down, we were like... The, the guide said it would take three hours, I think. The, the map says it takes three hours for that trail. We were going downhill, but we didn't have any hiking equipment. None of those poles and the hour, we were just wearing rubber shoes, not even hiking shoes. It took us six hours to... <laughs> to go down so double the time and as we were going down there was this local who was actually literally barefoot walking through the the stones and everything and was moving at a pace like i don't know twice or three times as fast as we were going and just like not minding all the steep stuff at all steep in the sharp uh, terrain it's like wow and we were so ashamed because we were like a couple of city people not knowing what they're doing. And there's this, uh, I don't know how you call her, mountain lady just being super at home. And we, so she like overtook us and she uh, got, uh, she disappeared from the horizon because of how far she was. And then maybe a few hours later, we saw her again. She was like just chilling on the side of the place, maybe just enjoying the scenery and the weather. And then she started again and then she overtook us again. <laughs> I think she was just enjoying the quote unquote race. I don't think it was much of it, <laughs> much of a race. Goodness, yeah. Can't even I, my my feet were hurting so bad with all the the rocks and everything, but she was just barefoot. Years of training. Oh, it works! And voila! Let me get, try and get a full load of these, and we'll sell it. And we'll uh, double the price, and anyway, Jack's not looking, and we'll sell it to him. 
Oh, I forgot he was here. <laughs> So the hungry cows. <laughs> <laughs> they will be. So the the cows in sea, in non seasons, um, they produce milk, and do you also sell them? Or how does it work in non season stuff? Uh, no, they they just live forever. Ah, and you don't sell them off. I'm not. I don't think you can. Yeah, that probably makes sense. So they don't reproduce? Yeah. Oh, maybe. <laughs> so you better be able to sell them if they reproduce. <laughs> so that you can just turn them loose and let them wander all over. <laughs> <laughs> More milk for everybody. What's this bell doing here? Missed one. Okay, let me see where we can sell this because I think you can sell straw somewhere here. Um, this Lone Oak Farm barn, if you look here under straw, these guys. So, bale sell point and Lone Oak Farm barn. In terms of price, the bale sell point is higher. Um, but no wait a minute this is wheat that we're no no this is straw yeah this is so uh, wait a minute this is grass this is hay this is straw non seasons and the bale sell point is much uh, it's a bit more expensive but I want to see if we can sell it in bale form so that's the one there how do you get there goodness um, Oh wow, we have to go around all the way? I think I can go through the farm. 45 here, let's oh, keep the map open and see if we can just feel our way through. <clears throat> have to go around. I wonder, the contracts that come up, do they make use of the modded um, equipment? Or is it all vanilla? Are they smart enough to like detect that something can be compatible? It's like with bailing. I'm not sure. would be nice huh if they could like a baling job would pair it up with a round baler and then this trailer hmm we can test it I'm sure we'll have more chances eventually so going through 43 um and then we turn right here, left on 45. Wow, time time really flies when it's farming. Three hours just goes by like that. Then it recognizes almost 11. So 45, the problem is, is there an exit through here? Doesn't seem like it. Looks like we'll have to go through the, the horses here. Unless there is a shortcut somewhere. Let's go and uh, see if there's like a hidden route in here. Uh, doesn't seem like it. That one. Let's not risk it. Be careful, we, we don't have a lot of such backup. 
<laughs> exactly. So I, I cannot take that risk. The others I didn't tell you, don't turn that thing over. <laughs> what is this? Oh, nice. Nice little stream here. With the marginal difference in profit, I think all in all the selling on the nearby area, right, right in the farm, is much more efficient. And going through the, all the way here, then again, this gives a bit more of a scenic tour. Nice, pretty house here, cozy. Oi! And now we have the AI trolling us. Okay, let's stay out of his way. Even crash on each other there. Green Oak Woolen Mill. Ooh. But how does it work, I wonder? The silo. If you have multiple farms, where do you drop your stuff off, Jack? Sorry, yeah, um, you have to buy a silo. Uh, Each farm buys their own silo. So if you drop stuff off in our silo, that goes to us? Yeah. <laughs> you want to try it? No. <laughs> oh, dang it. <laughs> but we don't own that land, so how did it know that it goes to us? Yeah, that's the difficulty that we have. So what we did to rectify it is just buy your own silo each farm. So if you look here, silo owned, we see that silos other, it, there isn't anything. I guess it's because we're the first farm, maybe. Now where do we drop this off? Let's continue on here, find it. Looks like probably here, this barn. Let's go and look first. Oh yeah, it looks like it's this one. Very cozy place. So it looks like it's here. Ah, we can just drive straight through. That's nice. Cool. Doesn't want to turn because of the trailer at their backs. But there you go. So now, how do we unload it? Um, let's see. So we unload the bales like so. Oh crap. Oh no. No 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 wait 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 um <laughs> abort unloading go back Oh my goodness so this isn't the same uh bale loader that I was seeing One sec. 
How do you fold that thing? Uh, click it into transport. What? Transport? There should be a transport of my... Oh no! No! <laughs> <laughs> There is nothing. <laughs> El numero uno, eh, Led. Yeah. <laughs> Just that, in that's time. That's the travel. <laughs> Just in time for the shenanigans. There is no transporting mode. <laughs> and now I'm stuck because of that thing in there. What the heck? I don't blind that fall. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so many jaders again. Okay, that one works. Kind of. And no bells here. But they didn't get sold. Maybe I can push them. Oh, there we go. One, one, two, five. Seven fifty. Oh, guys, you need to help me compute. <laughs> How did that become like that? <laughs> How, did, How did the bales get at different prices? <laughs> <laughs> so, let's see. Um, what was that? Four thousand, one one two five. Let's get my calculator in here. Calc. So we got one one two five for two bales, I think. So each bale is five sixty two point five. That seems small. Because if you have 4,000 bales, 4,000 liters, but how do you guys know how this pricing works? Like the price that we see here, is that per liter? Maybe not, huh? No. Because the 31,000 we had a while ago only amounted to 17,000. So let's see, 17,000 something which is like 1.8 so maybe around I don't know five five six times thirty one thousand ah it's seventeen million two hundred thirty six so it's five five six times thirty one so it's per ton, I think. It's, it's per a thousand. Okay. So here, if we have 94 times 4, that's how much a bale should give. So that's 376 times 2 is 752. Times 2... But we got 1125, right? Something. So I think it is a bit more expensive if you bail it. Maybe. That's how it seems, at least. Maths for the win. Uh, that, that's done, though. can continue selling stuff like this. So do you need some straw, Jack? <laughs> no? 
I'm trying to get my um, thing to unload. It's not having none of it. Oh, it's doing it from this different a loading point. I mean, let's go through here. Let's get back to the farm and then let's call it a stream. Yeah, time's up. Let's just take a bit more of a tour here. So, what do you think we should do with these bales, Alex? <laughs> should we just sell them all? Maybe we can store some of them and then let's uh, ask for Blast help on what we can do with them. <laughs> what would you do with them, Led? We can sell them the jackets, season the bales. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can sell them too. Sell them at uh, 2,000 each bale. No, oh, I don't want them. <laughs> That's it, we're buying our own cows. <laughs> to heck with co op farming. <laughs> Seekums <laughs> competitive farming. <laughs> yeah, we can leave some bales in the barn and maybe tempt Jack with it until he bites at 2,000 each. <laughs> That's the trouble, I will need them. I'm not paying. <laughs> uh, Monopoly is nice. <laughs> Unless you start planting your own, huh? <laughs> Ooh, that's an idea. <laughs> <laughs> so nice, I like this map. I'm a bit scared though, I'm not sure if we'll be able to turn a profit here after <laughs> everything. I still have no clue how to earn in here. I think uh, so we earned how much 17k and then we earned a couple more so maybe we are at 20k but we uh, spent much more than that just leasing the harvester and everything we do have one more um, one more load that we can sell if we need to I think it would be nice to have some kind of like safety stock just in the silo so when there's a, like an, uh, uh, a massive uh, demand, a massive increase in prices, we have something to sell, just a single load for each type, as much as we can afford at least. When Jack comes begging, we can say, yeah, yeah, we'll sell you some of that. Yeah, just 5,000 each. <laughs> the markup is real. Hey, yeah, you're supposed to be friends. <laughs> this is business, buddy. <laughs> oh, that's true. Farmers usually struggle at the start of a farming career. Oh, yeah. I can imagine it now. I'll try to look for some of the mods that the guy was using. Those were very nice. And uh, we might replace this one because the, the one he had, it was unloading horizontally. So if you can imagine, if you go to this barn right here, the bales would stack nicely right here. Although vertically they might work anyway, right? I guess this might be tall enough. It's a bit scary though when that goes vertical. At any point you can have some clumsy physics happening. 
bales never fall over, do they? The bales? They never fall over, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never. I don't think that's coded in. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck. And with that, all right, there you go. And with that, I think it's time to end the stream. <laughs> Thank you guys for hanging out with me and looking forward to an amazing new farm. Lots of things to do and so much space to do it in. Thanks everybody. Oh, and now we're, there's a use for the owner overlay. Owner crops unlimited can be changed to uh, Animal Crossing Inc. for just 6,000 a bale. <laughs> the price keeps increasing. Yeah, we started at 2,000, now we're here. <laughs> yeah, we are switching to a new farm for now because uh, we're thinking of more friendly ways to make multiplayer a thing. Especially if people log in at, the, at different times. So removing crop withering, removing seasons, and might as well start a new map if we're starting from scratch that way. So we are in Lone Oak for now. Looking good so far. Loving it. Alright. Thanks everybody. Alex and Jack, feel free to stay and enjoy the farming accommodations. <laughs> that means I was trying to put it yes. mildly. <laughs> Have a good one, everybody. Catch you maybe tomorrow or on Friday. Latest. Thanks and uh, clumsy farming. Bye, everybody. No problem, Jay. Thanks for still moderating despite that. Thanks and bye-bye. <laughs>